Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So let's start from the right from basic where you don't know anything about the CMS. You don't know uh, even the C for the CMS. Okay. So let's from, uh, start from that basic. Uh, generally, uh, it helps you in your interviews, in your uh, sometimes when client don't know anything about the uh, CMS. So at that time, we have to educate them. So at that time, they this question can helpful for you. So what exactly is this content management system? So let's suppose you are developing a one uh, website. Uh, it's a plain .NET um, and SQL server based website. And uh, within this, you have worked very hard. You, uh, your website is ready. It's live. Its performance is good. Your client is very happy. And uh, maybe let's suppose you have launched it in uh, November 2020. So your client is happy and uh, now uh, as it's giving the good performance as well but maybe on December 31st or maybe on 1st January your client is again going to connect with you and he said that hey uh, in all the pages of our website we have a footer within that footer uh, there is a one text or there is a one uh, content it says that copyright at the rate 2020. Can you please make it to 2021? Now this is a very small change. And your client is non-technical. He don't know how to do these changes. You are the developer. But generally it's happened that once your website is live, our development team is dispersed. I mean, uh, generally we uh, ramp down it. Or uh, in some cases, uh, uh, this project is maybe go to some another organization. Uh, maybe a, main, a development is done by your organization but in some cases as development team charges are very high so client can give that whole project to some other organization uh, for the maintenance part. So let's suppose you are not on this project right now or maybe your organization have uh, uh, put uh, uh, remove the senior resources and put the junior resources on this project now because website is live and it is in maintenance phase. So even they are very not sure that how to do these changes. Okay. So what they will do? They have to first do the impact analysis. Okay. Sometimes your client can also go to the freelance market as well that, okay, I want to change it. And uh, as I don't know, so let's, and uh, the development team is not available right now. So let's give it to some freelance market. So in all these cases, a new team or new uh, developer, he need the code base, he need the database, and the first thing that he had to do, he had to first set up it, the, that project, and then he had to do the impact analysis, that if I change something, where exactly it's going to be uh, affect. So during this, time during uh, during this situation the two things are going to be happen one a lot of time is going to be spent by the uh, developers or the uh, maybe freelance developer as well uh, he will spend some time in impact analysis as well then he will do the uh, uh, unit testing maybe QA testing then again in deployment so it's going to take a lot of time so during this situation time and depend on this time, the amount of hours spent by the uh, spent by the developers, your client have to pay the money. Okay, so two th two factors are most important within this situation. One is the time, and another is the is the financial part or the money. So I don't think money is the problem for the client, but yes, time is the most critical factor here. That just for the small change, just to change the copyright uh, text developer has spent a lot of time and that's why it's affect the uh, client business okay. he have to wait for this small changes to go live uh, for maybe a, a day or maybe a two day okay. so 
can we minimize this time is there a way where your client can do these changes so or is there any way where your client or non technical people they don't depend on the developers for this kind of changes so when lots of client have a complaint about this kind of uh, situations where a uh, developers they have the dependency on the developer so it uh, it organization or the companies have noted this problem and then they try to uh, solve this problems and the solution that they come up with that solution is uh, that solution is moving around the content okay so their solution is totally concentrated on the content and that's why they started to call this kind of system as a content management system okay because this whole system is depend on the content so this is the same story that i have explained you what the benefit you will get it here okay the first thing that your client is going to save the cost why they are going to save the cost now they don't need your help okay now they don't need your help to change do the any change in their system they want to change the image yeah they will do it they want to change the content yeah they want to create the new pages yeah everything is in their hand right now okay so as they don't need your help so it's going to minimize the cost they don't need to buy any additional software only one content management system is fine so no additional software so it's again going to save their cost whenever they want they can do the change in their website and uh, it, they can make it live so with few clicks your content will be available on your live website it will make your client happy though in most of the cases they are always complainers uh, but yeah uh, we can guess that all this can make your client happy because now you are giving this content change power to in their hand so they might be happy and as this system is going to be used by the non technical people so that's why it's they have designed it in such a way that it's very easy to use any non technical people can also operate it so that's why it's easy to use so because of all these points content management systems are very popular in the market or in short we called it as a cms thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today